Welcome back everyone. In this video, we are going to take a look at another concept in Redux, which is middleware. Now middleware, which is also the plural, is the suggested way to extend Redux with custom functionality. So if you want Redux with extra features, middleware is the way to go. It basically provides a third party extension point between dispatching an action and the moment it reaches the red user. You can use middleware for logging, crash reporting, performing asynchronous tasks, etc. In this video, I want to demonstrate how to use a middleware in Redux. The middleware we will be incorporating into our cake and ice cream shop application is Redux Logger. This library basically logs all information related to Redux in your application. To install the package, go back to VS Code, open the terminal and run the command npm install redux-logger. Now we need to create a logger for our application. And if you refer to the Redux logger documentation, we need to use the create logger method provided by the library. So in VS Code, in index.js, we first require Redux logger. const Redux logger is equal to require Redux hyphen logger. And then const logger is equal to redux logger dot create logger with parentheses. We now have the logger middleware that we want to use in our application. But the question is, how do we include a middleware? Well, it is really simple. The redux library provides a function called apply middleware which is used to apply middleware. So right before logger at the top, I'm going to get hold of the apply middleware function. Const apply middleware is going to be equal to redux dot apply middleware. Then to the create store function, we pass in a second parameter. So root reducer, apply middleware and we pass in the logger middleware. Right now we just have one middleware but you can pass in as many as your application requires. For the final step I will remove the console log statement in the store subscription as we have the logger middleware to handle all of that. Now if we save the file and run node index, you should be able to see all the logs. First, we have the initial state, which is our own log statement, corresponding to line 98. But thereafter, the logger middleware is in charge. First, we dispatch an action, cake ordered, which is logged. Then the previous state, the action and the new state is logged. We dispatch again, so action cake ordered. We have the previous state, action and the next state. You can keep track of the number of cakes or number of ice creams before and after each action is dispatched. Now you probably can't make out these logs very well from the video. So I would recommend you run the code yourself and understand what is happening. What I want you to focus on though is how we use a middleware in Redux. Import apply middleware. Pass it as an argument to create store and pass in the middleware to the apply middleware method. It is one of the most important concepts in Redux 
as it is how you extend Redux with additional functionality. The reason I also stress about this is because the next topic we are going to learn, which is asynchronous actions in Redux, also requires a middleware. All right, with that in mind, let's head over to the next video. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.